Today we're discussing the value of Kw, which is the uh, equilibrium constant for water. We're doing this so we can predict acid-base equilibriums, and our success criteria is being able to mathematically relate Kw to hydronium and hydroxide ion concentration. So when water reacts, water can actually react to form hydronium and hydroxide ions in very low concentrations. That concentration for both of those is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. We can use that to calculate what the Kc value for water is. And at 25 degrees Celsius and SATP, we know that that Kc is equal to 1.00 times 10 to the negative 14. Now, because this is a fixed number for a commonly used reaction, we actually give it its own unique symbol, its Kw. And remember as well that we do not include liquids and solids when we write an equilibrium law expression. So there's no water involved in Kw because we can't effectively measure water's concentration. But we can measure the concentration of the hydronium and hydroxide. So hydronium concentration times hydroxide ion concentration is always equal to Kw. It's always equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14. And this is very, very useful for us in acid-base equilibriums. What this means is that an acidic solution is one where the and a basic solution is one where the hydroxide ion concentration is greater than 10 to the negative 7 moles per liter. We typically use two significant digits in this as well because of the uncertainty. So this gives us another equation in our toolbox. If you remember from last year, we can calculate pH as the negative log of hydronium ion concentration. pOH is the negative log of hydroxide ion concentration. Those concentrations are 10 to the negative pH or 10 to the negative pOH, respectively. pH and pOH always add together to equal 14. And hydronium ion concentration times hydroxide ion concentration always equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So unlike grade 11, where we had to figure out what the pH of a solution was, convert it to pOH, and then go back to hydroxide ion concentration, if we were given hydronium ion concentration, now if we're given hydronium ion concentration, we can do a single calculation to find out what the hydroxide ion concentration is.